here we go, everybody. Chapter 1-9. The chapter that separates the men from the boys. The chapter where everything can one-shot Micaiah. And she can't do shit about it. I have prepared. At least I like to think I have prepared. I think I know what I'm going to do. I thought I knew what I was going to do before I lost the Light Rune, but... Uh... Nice crit. But yeah, I had, uh, I've been looking up some strategies. Looking at what other people have been suggesting. See, what I wanted to do was to put a light rune where Makai is standing right now. Run Makai over here. Or no, that's not you do. Put a... Shit. Where... There was a spot. I thought I had a spot. Maybe there isn't a spot. Do a light rune here... Never mind, I don't think my strategy would have worked. I had a thought in my head where there was a spot where you could put a Light Ruin and then use the Black Knight and no one could actually reach Makai even with 1-2 range. But apparently I'm way off on that one. So my strategy wasn't going to work anyways. How awesome. Alright, we got to get Makai out of there though, for sure. Um, we got to keep you in front of that guy so that he can't reach Makai. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm sweating bullets right now, and it's only turn two. Come on. I just want this chapter to be over. Just want this chapter to be over. It's such an easy Iron Man ender. Oh, that's a lot of guys in the back there. Um, Makai still looks safe, provided there's no one over here. If there's someone over here, Makai is so boned. Please don't let anyone be over there. Looks like the Black Knight kill everything. I love how they give everything 1-2 range, except for, like, maybe four or five guys. Just so that they can hit Micaiah. This is 100% the devs just wanting to screw over the player. 100%. Oh. Alright. Fine, keep running at the Black Knight. I'm fine with that. Keep throwing yourselves at him. You'll get him eventually. I saw a bunch of movement up here. So we're going to come up there. Let's take a shrub for protection here. Um, can I see this? I can't see that spot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I can't see that spot. Oh, shit. Please don't let anything be there. And I know they spawn enemies there occasionally. I think Jared even... No, Jared spawns, I think, one spot above that. I think. Oh, man. I need to shower after this game. I'm sweating like mad. Heart rate pumping. I don't want this Iron Man to end. Not here. Not like this. Okay, that guy didn't move. I'm actually fine with that. Let's run you up here. If there is someone here, what does it move? Like six? One, two, three, four, five, six. They can get pretty far, sadly.
Um... I can't see this corner. The Black Knight can't move very efficiently. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they can totally hit her if she's here. Shouldn't have moved the Black Knight here. Should have had him back here. Because then I could move Makaya here. Oh, he wouldn't make it here to shove her up. That's unfortunate. How far can this guy move? Not very far. Alright, we're gonna try and hide back here. Hopefully, whoever's back there. If there's anyone... Maybe there's no one back there. Maybe I'm lucky. Maybe there's no one back there and I don't have to worry. But if there's someone back there and they have 1-2 range, they can totally hit Makaya. Okay, okay, he couldn't reach Makaya. I don't think he could. That or he just liked the Black Knight more. I don't know. Doesn't matter. There was someone back there, and he didn't hit Makaya, and that's what matters. Alright, next up... Let's kill this guy. Yay, dead. Alright, um... Let's have Makaya move here, a little closer. Okay, this guy hand axe? Yeah, of course he is. Um, do I just have Makaya sit in the corner? That seems really vulnerable. What if I have Makaya come here? We have the Black Knight stand here, kill this guy. Think this will work? I feel relatively confident because it's very difficult for the enemy, just like me, to move around up here, so I don't think they can get to Makaya. And then with these two shrubs here, unless they have the ability to move into this shrub, they can't hit Makaya. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, did Jared spawn? I thought Jared spawned closer to you. I don't see anyone. I don't want to use Makai to scout, though. Oh, there's a guy. Ting. More enemies. All right, this guy has got pretty good moves. Um, what if we move the Black Knight here? We'll see how this changes the one guy's move, and then I can move Makai to where this guy's standing to protect her. It's very difficult for an enemy to go from here to here, because there's so much move to go through two thickets. So I'm feeling pretty safe with this setup. Thank Christ he can't reach Micaiah. Okay, I'm fine with that too. Just keep throwing yourselves at the Black Knight. That's all we need you to do. Doctor's gonna have to check me for high blood pressure at the end of this chapter.
At least Eclipse is always fun to watch, right? Where the hell is Jared? Why can't you show up and end to this misery? Alright, I'm gonna move the Black Knight here. In case something comes from this direction, because again, it's very difficult for them to move safely through there. See what happens. Nothing happened. Uh, go back up here. What happens? Did Jared spawn? Does Jared just not move? I'm getting the Black Knight very far away from Akaya. This seems very dangerous. Move up here. Alright, we just have Makaya move up here. We know that that section is safe. We don't know about behind us, but we know in front of us is safe so far. Oh, there's a soldier there, interestingly enough. He's just standing there. Menacingly! still playing this chapter, aren't we? We know there's nothing behind us, although we did just hear someone respawn or spawn in. This is dangerous. I don't know where to go. I feel very exposed. I feel very exposed. Very... Very scared right now. What do I care? Black Knight doesn't need cover. Oh, shit! It's Jared! Um... Stay out of his range. Actually, let's go to the healing shrub. I think that's a safer spot. Jared, not attacking? Is he not? Oh, he doesn't have one two range. Alright, kill him and end this chapter. Whew, we got there. The run is not over yet. Yet being the operative word. We got there. Holy crap, we got there. Fuck that chapter. Hard mode or otherwise, I can't, like, just fuck that chapter. Finally able to breathe a sigh of relief. Able to calm down a little bit. Sell a blue gem. Oh, boy. I'm gonna take that Seraph robe from you. Because Jill does not have a lot of HP, sadly. Now she does. I mean, I guess I wouldn't call that a lot of HP, but it's pretty damn good HP, especially when she's running 22 defense. So, pretty good. Pretty good. Oh yeah, we got a Forger at Steel Axe. What are we doing? We got Forger a couple Steel Axes, because this is the last chance they get to, uh, to get anything. Do we go crazy? Let's go crazy. This is the Super Axe. Make it pink. Yes, we'll roll the coin on this one. We got uh, twin swords or the axe, either one. Or hit. I'll take extra hit, sure. Makes this axe be... The accurate... X. Wait, how about... Uh, the accurate axe. There we go. Jill. Where'd Jill go? There she is. The Accurax. Yes, we're gonna forge a couple more axes here, I think. 
screw it. The Dawn Brigade has money. They can afford to make this one black so I can keep it separate, even though it looks basically the exact same. Oops. This is the... Fit penniless axe. Yes, it's the penniless axe. Probably should have named it like the coinless axe. Oh, we don't have room. Nile, want to hold on to that for a little bit? No javelins. All right. Uh, we'll get one more steel axe for good measure. This should hold Jill for pretty much the rest of the game. I don't know why you need more or less weight. It doesn't really do anything. Except add to your price tag. This one can be teal, or green, teal, green, teal, green, teal, teal. This one will be the... Oh, uh, I have no idea. The Herbert 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 Herbert. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. It'll just be the... The Axe Axe. Can I want to hold on to that one for me, too, for a little bit? Uh, should we get So with another knife? I think we should get him another knife for good measure here. We'll go crazy on it, too. This will be the... This will be the... Snow knife, so I made it white. There we go. Uh, probably get him. Well, I won't get him one more. We're, we're running low on money. We, we spent enough, I think, on forges. Another hand axe. We got plenty of hand axe, I think. We'll take the olive grass for Volug. He'll like that come part three. Uh, do I want any of this stuff for the Grail mercenaries? Wind Edge. I guess Mia kind of wants a Wind Edge. I doesn't mind a Wind Edge. Yeah, fine. We'll take a Wind Edge. Hand Axe. We'll be able to forge Hand Axes and Javelins, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Fire Thunder. Uh, not really. I don't think we need those. Alright, let's mess around with our items. Oh, you know what we need? We need this awesome bronze lance for you. Alright, so you're looking fine for items. Um, this where's Jill. Jill's got some, uh... Alright, we definitely don't want a normal steel axe. I'm pretty sure you don't need a Vuln anymore. I'm pretty sure you just kind of tank through everything. Maybe sell that axe, but... Sure. Nyla, we'll take our bonus axes here. You've got 30 uses of hand axe between everything. You should be fine. Teronio... Do I want to transfer the Silver Lance to the Grail Mercenaries? Oh, Leo's got my Pure Water. How do you end up with the Pure Water? Of all people. Take. Alright, what do we got here? We got... Brave Sword, Wind Edge. We'll take another Wind Edge. Take... Savior could be good. Um, speaking of, we should probably take off skills from certain people, like uh, Tormod. I don't think you need that anymore, buddy. Um, you 
can hold on to adept. I'm fine with that. You can have shade, sure. Wrath. Don't know if we need wrath. Oh, we don't want to take these two off of you, or we won't see them again for a long time. You don't have anything. You at cancel. I'm fine. You can hold on to cancel. Alright, he has imbue. Heals 18 HP a turn. It's kind of good. Um, let's see. We can put something on you, like Savior, to help transfer, take up less slots. Actually, what we could do is we could promote her to get her more, more, um, what do you call it, uh, capacity, and we could put more skills on her to transfer her. Yay, a level up. Or a promotion, whatever you want to call it. Alright. Manage skills. How much capacity you got now? 15 more? I like it. You can transfer... Resolve via capacity. That's fine. As far as items... We would like to take... I'm still kind of wanting to do renewal... Maybe the imbue and renewal on Volug. I think that could be kind of fun. Nile, we don't need till the convoys combine, so they the Don can pull onto that pass would be kind of nice. Take pass. Trade with anybody? Got some to trade. Yeah, we'll take that Paragon scroll for sure. Take that Celerity scroll for absolute certainty. Um, we got one spot open. We could save that for the speed wing. Or we could give up ass, maybe, for a silver lance. I don't know how good Oscar is, but the silver lance would be kind of nice on him. Although when the Dawn Brigade come back, Toronio is... I think I'd leave the Silver Lance. I think Tornio will make better use of it on the Dawn Brigade than Oscar will on the Grail Mercenaries. And there are other Silver Lances we can get. So, bring Ileana for the Speedwing transfer. Uh, probably take the Olive Grass off of Vika. But if, if Vika joins us, we can always just take it off her before we end the chapter. So... I think we're doing okay. I could put pass, actually. You know, I think about it. Put pass on Nyla. Then she can go... She can just cruise up the... Uh, the cliffs there. And there will be a pass option on the Grail Mercenaries. Yeah, I think I'm going to put pass on Nyla. Just so she can get up the damn cliffs faster. Actually, I lied. The Grail Mercies aren't getting Paragon. We want Paragon on Jill, because Jill needs it. So in that case, I do have the extra room. But I can wait till after the fact. Oh wow, I took all of Ileana's stuff away. We got more room now. Let's see what else we can take. Beast feels way too good to have on uh, this uh, team. Considering the Grail Mercenaries never fight a beast at all. Take a bonus javelin. Kind of funny idea. Take Zyhark's Killing Edge. I mean, you'll get Killing Edges on Mia anyways. Zyhark kinda sorta needs it for 313. 
He's not going to be fighting any beasts in 3, like, 8 or 9 or whatever that chapter is. But... He kind of needs it for 313. I'm going to take it. Fuck it. Me will make more use out of it than... than Cyhark will. Take another Wind Edge seems not that good of an idea. I think I will take your Javelin, though, because you're not going to use it for damn sure. And then we'll grab the Speedwing in the chapter. I feel like this is a really bad Ileana transfer. I feel like I could do a lot better. Are there really no more skills I want to transfer? Discipline? Not really. Because the goose can't use it. And they're the only ones who really would need it. Cancel. I mean, it's funny, but Har has cancel. You don't really take it off Har. So, I mean, it's fine. I can leave cancel. Wrath. We have Wrath in the Grail Mercenaries. It's on uh, Nephany. So, if we need it there. Adept is on Soren. And Zyhark's kind of okay with Adept. We can take it off Soren. Who else would use Adept besides, say, Mia? I mean, it'd be funny to put it on Har, but he doesn't have a good proc rate on it. I don't think anyone else on the Grail Mercenaries is, like, super, super fast Mia style where they can really abuse Adept. It's kind of funny on Gotri, I guess, but... Oh, I guess we are taking Savior and Resolve, too. I forgot about that. So those are coming, at least. Um... Um, 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 um. I kind of like pass, but the Grim Mercy has access to pass, so it's fine. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. It's not great necessarily, but it'll work. Oh yeah, here. We'll give Vika a level up here. If she joins us. I guess I don't know if she's joining us, but... How much does it take to get you? Fine, we'll, get, we'll give Mararm a level up here for free, basically. Boom. Maybe I should have just put Makai to 20. But we can use this bonus XP the next time we see them, as well as the thing. And if we don't use it the next time we see them, then it'll eventually just get mashed together with all the other Bex by save up, so I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Alright. Enough of the base. Enough of uh, Chapter 1 9. We'll get to the battle preps here. There we are. I might as well choose units to reposition here, because they're like, you want all your shit units. Actually, most of these units aren't so bad. Definitely want Jill, though, and Nyla. We're taking Ileana just because I want to hold on to that speed wing. It's a very good transfer to the mercenaries. I guess I don't have to bring Tormod if I wanted to bring... Zyhark instead. I think Tormod is a little bit more versatile than Zyhark is, so I think we'll bring Tormod. Especially over Nolan. Or Nolan. Okay, so what's our goal here? What is our goal? Boom, 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 boom. Um, Volug stuck in the back, unfortunately. So Nyla with pass, what do you got for move when you're untransformed? Seven, and you go up to nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Attack this guy, open up the... And then put someone here. Can I get Raphael? Which says move five, I believe. Yeah, five. One, two, three, four, five. Shove him and then get him to here. So move Nyla to here. Shove Raph probably with Ileana or someone else. Um, put someone here. Like, say, the Black Knight. He has six moves, seven moves, six moves. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, dance. Nyla goes from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if she can get all the way up here, sadly. I don't think anyone can shove her when she's transformed. 
Maybe Volu, but she couldn't even shove Volu, so I doubt Volu can shove her. If she can get up here, all the better, because then I can have her kill this guy, the Black Knight kills this guy, and is body blocking that guy. Send Jill this way, go up the... or Jill can follow. I've got options that way. Um... You two are just... I could run Mararam over here, try and uh, just get his level up, free level up, put him closer to Resolve. Oh, he's not in Resolve, that's right, he's not in Resolve anymore. Tee hee hee. Still, he's 15 defense, so he takes 5 damage, he takes 10 damage from this guy alone, that's fine. Gets him a level up. Does he do damage? Probably 10. Oops. Yeah, he does damage, so he won't get gauge out of it. I don't think I don't think he doesn't like not do damage to these guys, yeah. He won't get gauge out of it. I could put you in range. You could take You actually don't get doubled by these guys even. He will take potential damage, but nine strength. I don't think you do damage to them, unless it does add beak damage that I'm not aware of, which it looked like it might have in the last time, because I don't think she was supposed to damage the other one she did. Maybe I can build Gage, but I could like trade the Olive Grass back and forth to get you guys up. Alright, enough of the enough theory crafting. I can theory craft on my own time. I don't have to waste your guys' time. Um, that's it for this chapter. We're still in it. Still in it. We're still going strong. I'm gonna finish up the Dom Brigade next time, hopefully. I don't think I'm gonna fuck up too horribly. We'll see. Uh, let's not uh, let's not counter chickens before they hatch. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, all that fun stuff.